I was 24. I was at Melbourne Airport going home to see my family and they wouldn't let me on the plane because I was slurring my words. And um, then I apparently collapsed at the airport and that's when they called the ambulance, took me to ICU. The brain hemorrhage caused all of my organs to shut down. Spent three weeks in coma, two months on life support and over a year in hospital. During that first year in hospital, my left leg, right toes and nine fingertips were amputated and I've had heart surgery twice and total hip replacement. There were lots of invisible disabilities and things you can't see as well, including my vision loss. I lay for, for months and months and all I could do was sort of move my arms a little bit, couldn't move my arms and my legs. So it was, it was memories like Melbourne. I had to think about, there's this street I used to live on and it was this long, long street. My apartment is at one end and the tram that I caught to work every day was at the other end. So each morning I had to, to walk along that street and Melbourne's freezing so I was rugged up. The beautiful thing about that street though, it was tree lined and the trees would sort of reach up to each other, almost like a, a tunnel to walk through. So it was, it was so beautiful. I remember that, that tree lined street so vividly because as much as I hated the walk, these days I would, I would give anything to be able to get up and take a stroll down, down the street. Something that a lot of people don't understand, it didn't just start and end 13, 14 years ago. It's still ongoing today. I'm back in hospital every, every few months. And when it comes to my sight, people see the wheelchair, they see my prosthesis, they see my missing fingertips, but they don't see all the invisible disabilities that are far more challenging. 